hello everybody so today's video is a slightly different one for me today i'm going to be doing a kind of what i eat at the moment i'm not going to do in a day or in a week because i don't know how long i'm going to film this for but i'm also going to be filming my workouts for this week i actually made a little like diary of like things that i'm eating and my workout plan and stuff like that so today it's tuesday it's abs and arms we've just managed to drill through the balcony door and it now opens so i've got a little set up on the balcony and I'm going to talk you through my kit that I've got for working out from home as well and where everything is from. So to start off we have a bag of resistance bands. These are all in really cute colours so I have some from a brand called Omaril. I'm going to say that that's the pronunciation and then I have some others which are more brightly coloured, slightly more brightly coloured still quite pastel um, from a brand called Technifit. I'm not really sure what the difference is but those are the resistance bands that I have. I then also have a yoga mat from Stella McCartney and then I have these little weights. This is the brand uh, but I got them off Amazon. I've been getting pretty much everything off of Amazon Prime and then I also have this little, well I say little, it's like an eight kilogram kettlebell in a cute pink color so i'm not gonna be using that today because i'm doing abs and arms actually i could use that for arms i could i'm gonna take that out here it's all going on out here today but yeah so today is abs and arms and i'm gonna put what i'm doing and how many reps of it on the screen i don't want this video to be a million years long so i won't show you everything like in real time because i just think that's quite boring but i'll put everything that i'm doing on the screen and i'll also put it in the info box below as well for you so if you want like just where everything is from everything that i did recipes for stuff i will try and put it all in there if it gets a bit long i might have to like divert to a blog post and link to that and everything will be there hopefully it will be in the info box yeah Let's see this. I'm excited to work out outside. It's been like so long just like working out inside and it's been so hot and stuffy. So, Also, before we get started, I wanted to disclose that I am probably going to look like a toe through most of this video because I don't work out at home with makeup on unless I've already been doing something and I'm doing it like in my lunch break. But at the moment I'm trying to work out in the morning. So I'm probably gonna look mostly like a toe through a lot of these video clips. And also the usual disclaimer that I'm not a professional in any way. I'm just following mostly things on TikTok and Instagram, which I will show you guys, or things that my personal trainers have already recommended me. So not a professional and not a dietitian nutritionist either. So let me live. So like I said, it's abs and arms day. My abs are really hurt from yesterday, so we'll see how this goes. And this is gonna be arms and a little bit of back, probably back and chest as well, just to get everything moving. thinking about doing cardio on the stairs in my building but the inside of the building is like a furnace <laughs> so I don't know how much I'll make it. I really need to get back on my cardio I just feel so like unfit so yeah feeling unfit but feeling good because I've got all my workout gear now. The kettlebell arrived this morning. I'm very happy with it. It's pink! <laughs> very very happy with it. I'm just really happy to be exercising outside as well. It's the dream, the actual dream. I've been so jealous of everybody that has a garden recently so so jealous so i've just taken a thumbnail for this video or a potential thumbnail and my neighbors now 100 percent think i'm crazy because they're on their balconies and uh yeah i'm gonna get back to doing my abs now
I should have a fitness DVD. Give this video a like and comment if you'd like a fitness DVD. That would be the dream. Be working out on this balcony i'm so grateful <laughs> that i have it back i'm so excited to film this video getting back into like my fitness routine needs to be my priority at the moment so i'm really excited to be filming this video because then if i spend a little bit longer working out i'm kind of still working at the same time which was really good because i was getting to a stage mentally where i really needed to prioritize my like physical health and yeah it feels really good to be able to double up on both of these so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video It's a real treat, uh, which I have been treating myself to slightly more often than I would normally. This is a hazelnut chocolate iced latte, we'll call it that, iced coffee. So I always get asked how to make my coffee. We have a coffee machine, which is Ryan's, he moved it in here, but if not, you can just use instant because it tastes just as good. Yeah, it's basically sugar, instant coffee, or your regular coffee. Add hazelnut spread, add almond milk. I go for almond milk just because it's got like a lower calorie content. Unsweetened almond milk if anyone's wondering. And then ice, super easy. So that is basically my little pre-workout drink. And if anyone's wondering, the jar glass is actually a Dolmio pasta jar or was once upon a time. And then my straw is from Amazon. I just love buying shit on Amazon, it's so great. A little bit achy around here today, but I think that's a good thing. But yeah, this is my workout outfit. I thought I'd throw in my workout outfits in this video as well. So yesterday, I'm wearing the same cycle shorts, reusing, but yesterday's top was from a brand on Netaporter. This is also from a brand on Netaporter that I can remember. So it's from a brand called Girlfriend, which are a reasonably priced, sustainable, activewear brand. And I love them. And the cycle shorts are also from there as well. The cycle shorts are lovely. Like, I was about to swear. I'm trying not to swear because I'm aware that your children are at home, but they are, they're incredible. They are incredible. They're, there would be a profanity before incredible normally, but yeah, there we go. Really, really liking these. I've not got anything on my feet. I'm not going to bother. I'm actually going to do some yoga this morning, which I'm actually really looking forward to. It's a really nice day, which when I woke up, it was quite cloudy, but it's actually really, really nice out here. And I'm not feeling too great today. Like my glands were a little bit swollen and I had legs and cardio penciled in for today. <laughs> I looked at my schedule last night and I was like, what idiot puts legs and cardio in after abs and arms? Which I know that they're like obviously separate parts of the body and I know that that would have been my thinking on why it was a good idea. However, I feel like it might just be a bit of a push today just because I haven't worked out in such a long time. So I'm gonna have to ease into that schedule normally. I would be able to do that schedule at the gym, but in hindsight, I haven't worked out in a very long time. So what I'm gonna do is just swap today and tomorrow around. And my yoga tomorrow is gonna be today, especially just cause I'm feeling a little bit like run down. I don't feel like I should push my body too much. So I'm just gonna do like a gentle yoga today just to get myself, like to keep myself in the routine of working out every morning, but without straining my body too much. Like if you're not feeling well, don't push yourself. Um, I also noticed out some other tips that I came up with yesterday whilst I was doing my workout and I forgot to tell you about i'm just filming my chin i hope you all enjoy that where is it where is it okay so yesterday one thing that i did want to mention is even obviously when you're doing your ab workout keep your core engaged so this is me like normally i'm so bloated at the moment like uh but like when you stand normally like this i just make sure to keep my core really really engaged so your tummy goes in and normally you kind of tense around here a little bit more as well but like tummy muscles really, really engaged. And I do that even when I do my arm workouts as well, because as the arm workout 
kind of takes its toll on your arm muscles you kind of start using other parts of your body to do the movements as well so sometimes when you are doing arms you'll find that your like back starts to kind of go with it so keeping here really engaged will stop you using other muscles or i find that that helps i don't know if a professional personal trainer would agree with me but that is something that i always like to do is keep all my other muscles engaged and on that note with your body getting tired i would try and do as many reps as you can so as many of the like movements as you can perfectly rather than kind of trying to do the most so say i say to do 12 i would basically go until it hurts so sometimes you might want to do more but sometimes you might want to do less so if it's like starting to hurt and you're not doing it properly or you're using other muscles to compensate sometimes you might just want to scale back slightly depending on your fitness levels so cute in this fluffy dressing gown so yeah do what feels necessary for you so some of you might find that i've not done enough in this session for what you would do or i've done way more than you would like to do so obviously this is just what i'm doing so tailor it to your own kind of like fitness levels and schedule and stuff like that if you don't want to work out or do any movement seven days a week just you know take this as a, a guide and if you don't have weights because obviously i was using where is it there you go uh, my little kettlebell and i have two tiny little weights i got them off amazon and everything will be linked in the info box but you can use things from around your house so i've seen people do bicep curls using wine glasses and stuff like that so you can be a bit inventive with what you're using as a weight don't feel like you can't you can use giant candles just obviously be careful and make sure you can get a good grip on everything yeah you can use things that aren't conventional weights. I'm off to do my workout, honey. Bye. Bye. <laughs> and I'm here. So this is the yoga with Adrian workout that I'm gonna be doing. It's for weight loss, which I mean, yoga is so gentle. I don't think it could ever help me lose weight, but um, it's a total body workout. And I've done this about a thousand times before and I really like this one. great now so zen for anyone that's wondering or if you're new to yoga there are a few stages to yoga that i find myself going through and i thought i would talk you through these because if someone had told me this when i started doing yoga i'd be like oh it makes sense first off you start feeling like yeah i'm doing yoga how great am i blah, blah, blah. quarter of the way in you're like oh, it's actually a little bit harder than i remember halfway through you're like oh it feels so great quarter of the way through again Oh, it's just a bit repetitive now. And then at the end, you feel incredible. But I always want to stop about a quarter of the way through and three quarters of the way through. Don't stop because you feel amazing by getting to the end. And there are some of the moves that are more at the end that really like, I don't know what they do, but they make your body feel really, really good and you get a really nice like buzz from them. But they, it's kind of like staggered throughout the workout and yoga is quite repetitive. And that's something that I have always struggled with because I, I have a very short attention span. <laughs> very very short attention span so it's why quite a lot of the time i lose my train of thought in these videos it's a struggle but i do struggle with that with yoga and you have to really because some of them are an hour long like the one i just did was and you do have to like really hold like your attention and really concentrate on that if you're someone that can just sit and do something like that then you'll find it easy but i either have like i have extreme focus or cannot focus there is no in between so yeah and my other tip would always be like everyone says yoga is relaxing when i started yoga i was like doing everything very comfortably 
and it wasn't really working but if you keep like your whole body engaged like your core and like your bum muscles and leg muscles and keep them really really engaged and like tense you really reap the benefits of yoga and you can feel it working and like that's when I feel like it does its best work for me that total body workout I always forget how much of a workout it is and I've done it at several points throughout my life at varying levels of fitness and honestly it never gets easier because I think the more like you build your muscle or your flexibility the more you can like sink deeper into certain bits that she does so a yoga sit or a yoga squat I can't remember what it was I can now like do flat footed whereas she like starts you off on tiptoes so it never really gets easier so I would say for all ability types those workouts are so great and if you're a beginner she also has beginners yoga and like shorter sequences i think whereas that one is an hour it is quite long so bear that in mind so this is our dins i don't normally split my food up like this just before any therapists come for me for a section in my food but i thought i'd show you kind of how i like to break it up in terms of like carbs to everything else this is kind of what i'm going for so i've got my little salt and pepper prawns on the side my aubergine and spinach satay my carbs my broccoli i did have a little bit of bread when i was making dinner and i also had one of the prawn things as well so little extra snacks on the side as well good morning everybody it is thursday oh i have a video going up today I need to sign that off. So I thought I'd quickly talk to you this morning. Um, I'm about to do my legs and cardio workout. By the way, I look so tired because I barely slept a wink last night. I had some of the worst nightmares. It was the worst night's sleep. I was hot, I was itchy, and it wasn't particularly like hot in here. Although Ryan said he, he was quite warm, but I just, you know, when you just are having a bad night's sleep, like it, I was so anxious going to sleep and it just didn't really stop and I was awake for most of the night I think. I had an awful dream that a woman was trying to bury me in her garden. It was like something out of American Horror Story honestly. It's crazy. I've just been waiting to talk to you out on the balcony and there's a truck outside taking the rubbish away so I thought I'd just sit and talk to you in here and we'll do my workout on the balcony in a minute. But I wanted to touch on diet. Um, I know I obviously showed you last night's dinner. I've done a whole video on my normal life kind of fitness routine and my diet there's a video about it from like january 2019 and nothing's really changed because i found that routine to be so spot on for me and my lifestyle that i just didn't change it and i would still stand by a lot of the information that's in that video especially on diet at the moment so basically the principle that i tend to follow where possible with my diet is days that i am very 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 active I don't even think about the amount of carbs I'm eating. I will just like happily have carbs, like a lot of carbs with every meal. And I still have protein and veg, but I'm happy to have more carbohydrates on the days that I need it. But on the days I don't need it, I tend to lean towards more fat and protein based meals. And that was something that I've always done. And that's something that I'm continuing to do now. And I wanted to talk to you about that in this video because I know lots of you will be wondering and you've asked me to talk about my diet and I get questions all the time on my diet and I always refer people to that video but I guess I thought you'd like an updated one for like at home and I just kind of wanted to reiterate that nothing has really changed although I'm not really depriving myself of like treats because I just think like there's so much more going on right now and that's the last thing that we need to be worrying about but i'm just trying to make sure that when i make a meal i pick my veggies out first and half of my plate is always made up of veggies and then there's carbs on the side and depending on how much activity i've done that day so like yesterday uh, you will have noticed with last night's meal there was white rice but there wasn't like a ton of it just because I, I didn't need it i hadn't been that active and especially in the evenings i tend not to like overload on stuff like that but like for lunch i will happily go all out and that's kind of the main premise that i follow is like trying to fill my plate with as much veg as possible and make that the base for my meal and then add my protein or my fats which last night's meal didn't have so much of to be honest normally i'd have a nice bit of salmon i generally try and eat a pescatarian diet but i will alternate to veggie vegan meals because that is kind of how ryan tends to eat veggie or vegan but yeah last night's was not so high on like the protein but lots and lots of veggies and it was really really yummy and that's kind of what I tend to base all of my meals around is veggies more than anything and it makes me feel really good it's still really filling if my plate is already quite full and I don't really think about like the amount of vegetables that I'm having they don't even factor into like my oh that's too much food because I just think vegetables are so good for you so I like I'm quite conscious of how much like protein I have on my plate and how much rice but in terms of vegetables like 
the more the better and I don't even think about it and that's kind of the way that I feel my best in making a meal and I try and think about every day like what my body needs and how active I've been and how my body's going to process that food rather than just like what I fancy eating because otherwise I'd eat a Domino's pizza every single day. So yeah basically I don't know the exact science behind it I wish I saved the article that I read it was a couple of years ago now something about how your body burns carbohydrates instead of fat when you're active and non-active so um, it's better to eat like more fat and protein based when you're very very inactive and then when you're doing more cardio and being more active and doing a bit more high intensity stuff carbohydrates are your best friend so I do try and go by that I would love it if there's any personal trainers that can comment and like clarify i know every personal trainer like has a different ethos on food so there might be some people that agree with that and some that don't i've met personal trainers that go either way but that's the ruling i generally tend to follow and it helps me feel my best yeah i wanted to talk to you quickly about that because i don't know if i'm going to get around to filming every meal because sometimes i forget and because we're eating slightly differently at the moment because we're trying not to go to the shop daily and things like that and just go when we really really need to and um, the meals sometimes are a bit more like this is questionable there will be a point this week when we can't go to the shop where like last week we can go to the shop so i made a pasta bake with just like lots of leftover veggies we had pasta i had like a sachet in the cupboard and then this week i've got i know i've got a like jar of mac and cheese <laughs> truffle mac and cheese it's gonna be delicious but that is definitely a carb heavy meal that is probably not gonna fit in with this video and i do think that there are days like that but on days like that i will just obviously make sure that i do uh, more cardio and cardio in this video also make that whatever you can so whether it's like burpees and star jumps and stuff like that on your mat going up and down stairs like just half an hour of like a lot of movement i'm aware that not all countries are allowed like outside for exercise some places are some places aren't and i think the uk by the time this video goes up might have switched so i'm not kind of gonna dictate what your cardio should be in this video because i think even for me if i were to show myself going for a run now by the time this video goes live that might not even be allowed so i'm trying to keep that very vague so make your cardio whatever it can be for you but in terms of like mat work and stuff like that hopefully these are some things that you can follow and uh hopefully you can follow today's leg workout which i'm gonna go do now because the truck has gone but yeah i hope that little chat made sense and if you are conscious of like how much you're eating i just like to eat little and often and even if it's like even if there's like sugary treats i'm just like okay well i'm gonna make sure that my dinner's super healthy and it just all kind of balances out it's all about balance so just keep that in mind oh, good morning world my yoga mat's been flying about whilst I've been chatting to you. It's a bit windy today, but I think that's gonna be great because I'm gonna get a sweat on in like two seconds.
really difficult when some of your patio pieces are lovely. <laughs> I look really, really bad at this. I probably come not as bad at it. So we're gonna try and do a couple more rounds of this. I picked these moves out specifically, so I'm out of breath. I picked these moves specifically because they're better to do if you're like in a flat or in a house with lots of other people and you don't wanna make too much noise or you wanna do a workout at night if you're feeling like a bit anxious or like you've just got too much energy. All of these are kind of like very silent workouts. So they're great for me to do on my balcony so I don't disturb my neighbors. But I will link to a few other workouts for legs I really like that involve a little bit more movement. <sighs> was good but that was hard i don't know why i think it's just because like maybe i'm doing less cardio than i would normally everything just feels a bit harder but top tips for a workout like that is i always as with what i said about my other workouts i keep my core engaged because it stops me relying on other muscles that aren't the muscles i want to be using i also make sure my weight is put into my heels and you're not like putting pressure on the tips of your feet so you should be able to still wiggle your toes whilst you're doing everything and i think you'll have seen but there was a little clip where I show you how to keep your core engaged and like basically tuck your bum in. Don't stick your bum out for the whole squat. Like when you go down, bum out and then come up and then you like tense everything and bring everything in. Obviously not a PT, so my wording is very unprofessional. But if I can, I'll find some videos because there are plenty on YouTube on how to like squat and lunge properly. That will probably be very helpful to you if you're like newer to fitness because what I don't want is someone like just copying me and injuring themselves but yeah those are my top tips for those workouts and again making sure that you do everything really really well versus just like copying the movements like everything should be tense i end up like shaking especially when i do legs more than anything i end up very very shaky so do make sure you're doing everything right as opposed to just like comfortably if that makes sense obviously it shouldn't hurt so much like you feel the burn that's good but yeah don't injure yourselves that is like my main <laughs> point that is coming from this video and where my little tips are trying to come from is just like i don't want anyone injuring themselves because i'm not a professional yeah i'm just gonna chill here now for a bit and uh do my cardio on the stairs which i will spare you because it'll just be a lot of me huffing and puffing but basically i just aim to do 20 minutes to half an hour it doesn't matter how many like flights of stairs i get up oh my god that's loud There's so many people moving out of this building at the moment it's actually Mad. I'm like, I wonder why, whether they like have bought houses and it's like an essential move or they can't afford their rent, I don't know. I'm so intrigued. Yeah, if the penthouse could just move out, that would be ideal because then I could swap for a month. Good morning everybody, I'm literally living in these cycle shorts at the moment, but I just love them. I love them so much. These are from Girlfriend Collective, if I haven't already said. I will link to them. I got them off Netaporter, but Netaporter is currently not delivering, but I believe the Girlfriend Collective website is and it ships to the UK and the US and I think a few other places as well so I will link there and then I'm also wearing my M&S little yoga bra yeah it's just a normal bra but um there's no wiring or anything in it and it makes a perfect yoga bra and then my pretty little thing cardigan because I've been in and out of the balcony and I'm just like wrapping up because it's a little bit windy so this morning I have abs and yoga penciled in and it's actually really good that I've penciled that in because my legs are feeling very very tight after yesterday's leg workout so I'm gonna do a little bit of yoga this morning just a tiny bit of abs I'm not really feeling like I had a really bad night's sleep again I this is why I have makeup on this morning like I have a little bit of by Terry serum on and then a tiny little bit of lip liner and I've like brushed my brows up because I have had the worst night's sleep for quite a few nights in a row now and I just look like I've never had such bad like dark circles underneath here honestly yesterday I think was the worst though I don't I just didn't sleep at all yesterday this morning I woke up and the last thing I remember in my dream before I woke up was being strangled and then I woke up and I had my neck like really weirdly on the pillow it's just not not ideal yeah very tired so I'm just gonna do gentle exercise today so yeah don't push it or anything but the first thing I did was I got up and got into my gym kit and lots of people ask me how I get so motivated to work out and my response is always it's part of my routine and I highly advise you to make exercise part of your routine it's like brushing your teeth you know you feel weird sometimes if you don't brush your teeth at the same time in your routine like I always have a coffee and then I brush my teeth and if I brush my teeth I forget to have a coffee because that's my routine's all out of whack and I always feel like we feel if we forget to brush our teeth or don't brush our teeth at like the right kind of time but I feel weird if I don't exercise every day and like I used to go to the gym at the same time every single day and if I didn't do it I would feel weird or like I get up in the morning 
a couple of summers ago and go to the gym every single morning so i wake up at 7 30 and i don't start working until 9 30 so i'd be like i'm just gonna go to the gym and after a while if i didn't get up and just go straight to the gym i felt so weird because i've made it part of my routine and one of the best things you can do to get that kind of ball rolling when you're still kind of starting off that routine is to get up and get straight into your gym kit because you've basically already committed to it and it kind of reminds you to do it like if you walk past the mirror and you're in your gym kit and you haven't worked out yet like i need to do that so that is my first like tip is just like get into your gym kit and then make it part of your routine so every morning at the moment i'm doing my exercises i'm making sure i do them in the morning instead of like in the evening because i think it's so much easier to neglect things in the evening because you're a bit more tired a bit more lazy it's easier to be swayed as well to like get a takeout or something in the evening so i always like to do it in the morning because it's less distraction so yeah that is what we are doing today a little bit of yoga <laughs> Yeah, we actually ran out of broccoli, so <laughs> this is tonight's dinner and Italians please don't come for me for the fact that the mozzarella is cut up and not torn. That was Ryan's choice and I did tell him that that's how it's done better, but he wanted it cut, so. Who am I to argue with the chef because quite frankly, I enjoy dinner being made for me, so love you, it's great. And you can do it next time. Nope. Mm. Hey everybody, so I'm just getting ready to go to bed and I thought I'd end this vlog here because I think tomorrow, I might have a rest day and then I think on a Sunday I'm due to do I think arms and yoga which will be the same arm workout that you've seen before and the same yoga workout that you've seen twice in this video so I'm gonna leave it here um, I hope you enjoy seeing like my rough workout schedule I'm gonna be keeping it like this until further notice until I'm able to actually physically go back into a gym I think I'm gonna keep it like this so i'll keep you updated and you'll probably see snippets if i decide to put anything new in and i hope you kind of found the diet chat helpful i didn't want to make this a full like what i eat in a week because number one i forget to film my meals number two i do skip meals and i just you know when you're just like at home there's no social cue so yeah it's a bit tricky at the moment and i just honestly like food on youtube is a big thing people like to pick your meals apart and it's just not something that i really need in my life so i thought i'd just rather talk about like my ethos of food but yeah i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it useful i'm gonna go now because i'm just like super tired and can barely string a sentence together i'll see you guys again very very soon bye